All right, so I just caught a Wigglytuff right here, so that's that's pretty cool. We're going to continue on. We are now supposed to, I think, just grab that uh, that freaking Farfetch'd, who's actually right here. So we have to sneak up from behind him. If we go ahead and click on him from the front, he's going to be like, oh, God, get away from me. And we need to catch him from behind. So I know there's a way, there's an easy way to do this. I think we need to go over to these sticks over here, get him to face to the right. Yeah, we'll get him to face that way, and then there's just a little lane you can go through so you don't touch those sticks. And now we can just sneak up on this bastard from behind. He's like, Kwa! He's like, don't touch me there! You bastard. <laughs> he snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Cool. So we're going to take it back to this guy, and he's like, oh my god, my far-fetched. You found a far-fetched, thank you. But there's one more missing. If you step on a branch, it will face that way, remember? That's your chance to catch it, sneak Okay, yeah, I know. I just caught that one, bro. So here is this guy. I'm going to make him point down like that, and I think we actually just run around... Just don't touch these sticks here, and you will be good. All you have to do is just go around. It's like the easiest damn thing ever. Why did this guy assign this job to me? Like, what, you couldn't do this by yourself, dude? Like, what the fuck? Oh my god, wild Pokemon everywhere. Man's like, get out of my face, bruh. Okay, so we'll grab this far-fetched. Throw him in the old bag. He snuck up and caught it from behind before it noticed you. Cool. Okay, so can I have one of these far-fetched? Like, can they be mine now? Thank you so much. My boss's Pokemon won't obey me because I don't have a badge. Phew, you saved me. Well, way to lose your boss's Pokemon, bro. Why would your boss trust you with these, knowing you're a noob? I don't know. Okay, my far and fetched. <laughs> nice nicknames, dude. You found them for us, kid? Without them, we wouldn't be able to cut trees for charcoal. Thanks, kid. Now, how can I thank you? I know. Here, take this. And we obtained the HM01, which is going to be cut, which is pretty convenient. Teach that to a Pokemon to clear small trees. Of course, you have to have the gym badge from Azalea to use it. Okay, well, luckily... We do have the gym badge from Azalea, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, open up Cut. We could probably teach it to just about everybody on the team, I'd assume. Okay, yeah, Perry, uh, everybody except for Mighty Doge. And thinking about it, who has a move that's not useful? I think I'm going to get rid of Cheerio's um, freaking Destiny Bond. That's what I, okay, yeah. So Destiny Bond is not the best move for a Nuzlocke, considering that, you know, means that I lose freaking Cheerio if I end up using it. It will kill the opposing Pokemon, but in the process, we'll kill uh, Cheerio. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and teach cut to that dude. Hell yeah, Cheerio. Now my cherries can cut shit down. So we'll just go to this tree right here. And voila! Tree is down. And, uh, okay, so here's this weird-ass... Oh my god, wild Pokemon. So yeah, this is that, like, Celebi weird-like thing. And it's pretty much just a glorified, like, statue that doesn't do anything. It's basically just a decoration. It's kind of... It's kind of lame how you can't do something with that. But anyways, we shall continue. And, uh, wild Pokemon everywhere. It's weird there's no actual, like, grass that you're running through. It's just kind of like the whole ground has wild Pokemon on it. It's like, fucking, oops, just stepped on a Wigglytuff. Like, oh god. Get out of here, bro. Trainer tips. I like sports is so overgrown with twe trees that you can't see the sky. Please watch out for items that may have been dropped. Alright, cool. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. So, down here, there's probably, there's probably going to be an item over here somewhere. Oh, there is, and it's a Grip Claw. Nice. What does that actually do? Grip Claw. I forgot. Go to my items. Where the hell is a Grip Claw? Okay, so... Extends the duration of multi-turn attacks like Bind and Wrap. Unfortunately, I don't have any of those. Although, that would be nice if I do come across something like that. So, that's cool. We got a fat dude that's chilling over there that can't get through. Oh, oh lord. Mama Swine, get your fat ass out of here. Okay, so what do we have here? Large, formidable tree that looks like it can be headbutted. Okay, there's just like a, a random little slit in those trees. Okay. <laughs> Confusing, but all right. Now we got a wiggly tough freaking, of course. Get out of here. We have a kimono girl over there, but first I'm going to go over to the right. I think if we talk to this one dude, I believe he's the guy that teaches you headbutt, but I'm not entirely sure. And I think I made it so the move tutors in this game actually teach you... Random different stuff. So he's actually just sitting there headbutting shit. He's like, I don't even need a Pokemon, bro. What are you doing, guy? I'm shaking trees using headbutt. It's fun. Here, you should try it with your Pokemon, too. Yeah, sure. Which Pokemon should learn it? Um, how about Mighty Doge? Trying to learn headbutt. Okay, so it is actually just headbutt. Should we delete a move? Honestly, I'm going to say... Don't really need it. Honestly, I mean, it's 70 power and it can flinch. I guess, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to get rid. Actually, wait. Dizzy Punch is just 70 and can leave it confused. Is Dizzy Punch or Headbutt better, man? <laughs> Literally the same thing. 
I'm gonna keep Dizzy Punch just because it's way cooler. No. Damn it. No, and then yes. Okay. Well, you know, we know this guy's here, so if I do want to headbutt in the future, I, I know where to go. But it's not the best unless it's like a normal type Pokemon using it that gets the same type attack bonus and all that shit. So, you know what? Fuck it. Back to business. We'll go over to this Komodo girl. Hello, kid. What's happening, bro? Alright. Hello, lady. What are you doing here? Komodo girl, Komodo girl lost and all alone. Poor girl lost in the dark Ilex forest. Why you spin around so much? You remember me from Violet City? You must be imagining. Anyway, will you show me how to get out of this forest? Sure. What happens if you say no there? I don't... Okay. Okay, aren't you lost in the forest? Well, how do you know how to get out of here? Well, because I have freaking Pokemon with me, girl. So Tatot's gonna go over there. Apparently show her where to go. See you. Well, okay, well, you were standing, like, right there. You couldn't just see the way to go? It, it took my chat out to just go over there and tell you? What a, what a dumbass. <laughs> Let's go ahead and grab this item. Oh, nope. Don't want to head about that tree. I'm going to grab a PP up. That's useful. Not bad. Not bad. And we shall continue the way we told the Komodo girl to go. This way, which is going to lead us, I believe, towards Goldenrod. Hey, what's up? You see the shrine that pays homage to the protector? The protector watches over the forest from across time. I think that must be a grass type Pokemon. Yeah, it's it's Celebi. I I know. This lady has a butterfree. Oh honey, you're making a Pokedex, you must be battling all kinds of Pokemon. Try using this TM for a change. Obtained TM12, what is it gonna be? Cool. It's taunt, use it to target Pokemon. Okay, well actually, it might not be taunt, so let's see. TM12 is wish. Okay, so we got some interesting, uh, some interesting stuff. I do have. I do have Takedown and Trump Card also, but... Anyways, let's continue. Wish is a pretty cool move, though. I might have to teach that to somebody later. Anyway, we have now arrived at Route 34, where we can catch a new wild Pokemon, so that's some fun stuff. But first, let's battle this youngster here. What's going on, bruh? This is where I do my training. Hey, cool. Good to know, good to know. God Tia here has a whole bunch of Pokemon, leads off with a level set. Like, whenever they have a, a lot of Pokemon, I swear they're always just terribly leveled. Like, level 7 Gyarados. Nice, bro. Next is a Shroomish, level 8. I'm just gonna bounce this motherfucker. Tried to will o me. No, 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 Shroomish. Next is Growlithe. Let's, um... Who wants to take on fucking Growlithe? No, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna let Perry do it. This thing has slow start. Okay, slow start Growlithe. Nice. Hydro Cannon. This Growlithe was just about to use Hydro Cannon, but I avoided it with bounce. That's hilarious. Perry is now going to go to level 17, wants to learn Fury Swipes. Hmm. Nah, fuck it. Fuck Fury Swipes. Next is Magnazone. Oh, damn. What should I... Let Mighty Doge Heat Wave this bitch. It's so confusing thinking about, like, all the moves that my guys have. Like, I have a fire move on my Mighty Anna. Heat Wave destroys that thing. And hella experience. You suck, God. Okay. So now let's catch a wild Pokemon. First encounter, we can catch what's it gonna be. It is Muck. Oh fuck yeah, look at this is the sprite where the sup username or the the sup nickname actually originated. Look at him, he's like waving. He's like, sup, bruh. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, well cool. We found a muck. I'm gonna leaf storm it. Just to not do very much damage at all. Goes for the sharpen, which is going to raise his attack. That's actually badass. Leaf Storm again, maybe even one more time after this. Try to use Switcheroo. Okay, not the best move set, Muck, unless you have, like, Poison Jab. That would be fucking sweet. Oh, fuck, it has Rock Tomb. Oh, Jesus, it had an attack boost, too. Okay, thank God Perry doesn't take too much from that because I'm level 17, but, okay, now let's switch. I know that Rick Roll can pretty much... Okay, he's just gonna sharpen again. Jesus. All right, now I'm gonna go for a Fake Out. I don't think this will kill. I want to weaken it just enough. Perfect. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna throw some balls at this bastard, and I'm about to get myself a muck. If it wants to stay in the Pokeball. Fuck, okay, I thought I thought I almost had it first try. Damn it. I need this muck, man. Huh? Yeah. Fuck! Come on, bro. I'm trying to trying to switch room here. I only have five Pokeballs left. Let's see if I can get this. Oh, you slimy fuck. Come on. Come on, bro. I need you, Muck. I need you. Damn it. Now it doesn't even want to fucking. Oh, jeez. It doesn't even want to shake at all. I'm going to end up using all my Pokeballs. 
and not end up with this muck, I'm gonna be so mad. There it is. Fuck! No! I need sharpened muck. Okay. Two Pokeballs left. Please, luck gods, be with me. Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> I got it. Okay, muck was caught. Thank god. That is awesome. Okay. Let's read its Pokedex. Alright, the body is made of a powerful poison. Touching it accidentally will cause a fever that requires bed rest. Well, we're going to nickname you, since you were just the original Sprite. We're, we're naming you Sup, just because he comes out. He's all like, Sup. Although, definitely a female, so she comes out and is all like, Sup. Okay, so that's cool. We got ourselves a muck. That's a perfect encounter. That's Could not have asked for a better fucking... Oh, oh Jesus, more wild Pokemon. And a Heracross. That's actually not a bad... Not a bad one either. Anyways, let's actually switch. Let's put Rickroll in front. Just just cuz. That dude needs to learn a new move or something, man. And we have a trainer. What's going on? Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. Alright, sounds good. Let's do it. Leads off with an Absol at level 9. I probably didn't need to... Oh, got that fucking damage on that shit. Seed Bomb just so I don't miss. And Rick Roll grows to level 17. Next is Nido Queen. Um, Nido Queen, we'll go into Seahorse. I have Psy Beam for your ass. Level 9. I swear all the trainers have terrible Pokemon in this game. And Regirock. Okay, right as I said that, pulls out a Legendary, but whatever. Psy Beam, your ass too. Only a level 12. Hits me with a Thunderbolt. Critical hit did absolutely nothing. You're, ter you're terrible, Regirock. You're, you're terrible. And we're going to 18, trying to learn Arm Thrust. Well, hey, that's kind of cool. I guess it hits two to five times in a row. I've never even, like, used Fire Punch on this... On this Seedra, honestly. I don't think... I don't... Fuck it, I'm keeping... I'm giving up. Fuck Arm Thrust. Wellington was defeated. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I Okay, yeah, no. No, I know what you're going with this. No, you can't have my number. I'm sorry. Okay, so anyway, we... Oh, fucking old dude right here I got a battle, but... Damn, Rylu getting in the way. Okay, so who actually needs a level? Vampy's already 17. Let's... Let's let Cheerio do this. You got this, Cheery. I just got my Pokemon back from the daycare. Let's see how much stronger it got. Probably not much, considering you never move around, and it's based off of steps. You have a Pichu. That's actually... Holy shit. Is this guy not randomized? Because I think he's actually supposed to have a Pichu. Got randomized move that moves though, that's for sure. Rolling kick fucking flinched me. Bruh. Oh, now you go for the ominous wind. Now you're gonna bust that shit out. Okay. Next is a swine up. Okay, perfect. So just in case the swine up has something scary, I'm gonna actually super potion real quick. Fuck you, swine up. Oh, thunder. Okay. Was going for damage, but not the right type. Good try, good try. And thunder missed. Okay, so one more vine whip. Gonna take care of the swine up. See you later. Cool. Continuing, we have a, another trainer. Jesus, trainers everywhere, man. I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. You don't say. That's good for you, bro. You got yourself a do duo at level 10, although I don't really... Why are you so low-leveled? Let's go into Mighty Doge. Why not? Memento. Oh, fuck. It's just gonna kill itself, lower my attacks and stuff. <laughs> As to regress level 17. You know, I can actually just switch out and get rid of that. Stat changes. Wants to learn Fire Punch. Mighty Doge. The fuck, bruh. So you do already have Heat Wave. And I know you do have better physical attack than special attack, although Heat Wave with 100 power is probably better than... Fire Punch anyways. Fuck it. I'm getting rid of it. Give up on Fire Punch. Next is a Bagon. Okay. Alright. Alright. Got a dragon. Little dragon. That's cool. We'll go into Tubby for this one. Tubby some action. And extreme speed's probably the best bet. Yep, that is a dead bag on. Alright, cool. Well, these trainers are easy as fuck, and this guy wants my number two, bro. Hey, no. Hey, no. <laughs> okay. So here we have the daycare. Oh, shit. Ly of course, Lyra's here. Grandpa. Lyra, this is your grandpa? The fuck? Good work, Grandpa. The Pokemon you raised for me has been as healthy as can be. You look fit, too. Did Grandpa say that to her, or I'm confused? <laughs> Grandpa does not look too fit. Let me introduce you. This is Hayden. He's a trainer. He seems to be getting better at raising Pokemon. Well, not as good as you, Grandpa, of course. Yeah, I'm better, bruh. Follow me, Hayden. 
So now we are going inside the daycare. Apparently, she's gonna like force me to leave one of my things here. You should better not. Just kidding. She definitely doesn't. But I know how the daycare works, Lyra. This is your boy, friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's my girlfriend. <laughs> what, Grandma? What are you talking about? He just happens to live nearby. Aha, uh -huh, I know, I know. Since you brought him here, Lyra, you must be sure about his talent, right, Hayden? Come and see us anytime. Well, I better go now. See ya. Okay, cool. Well, actually, this is kind of convenient because there is a, um, a PC here, so I can actually check out my muck. Here, this is my Pokegear number. Oh, we're getting Lyra's number. Score. <laughs> Getting bitches number. Alright, I'm taking notes every time they do funny things. Give me a call and I'll share something with you. Okay, no. Thanks, but no thanks. Everybody wants my damn number. We have to take Lyra's. Okay, so let's check out our buddy Muck here. Actually, and might as well check out the uh, the Wigglytuff too. Okay, so this Wigglytuff has the Water Veal ability. Knows Reversal, Silverwind, Splash, and Seed Flare. Interesting. And Muck here has Sticky Hold. Although, what the fuck, you didn't get... This guy didn't get a randomized, didn't get a randomized ability because he's actually supposed to have sticky hold, so that's weird. Is holding the Reaper Cloth though, which is random, and knows uproar, rock tomb, switcheroo, and sharpen. So not the best, timid nature, not really what I'm looking for. But you know, we have a muck there. I'm not gonna use him yet. Might end up coming back to him in the future, but uh, you know, good to know. At least we have a muck. So that's and a Wigglytuff with fucking Seed Flare for that matter. So that's that's chill. I have an idea, I'll give you our numbers, then you can check on the Pokemon we raised for you. Registered the day- okay, well, Jesus. The whole cell phone numbers thing is a big deal. Call us for from time to time when you give us your Pokemon to raise, I'll be happy to use this for- okay, cool. Sweet, so we have a police officer here who only battles during the night. So, on patrol for suspicious individuals at night time, they'll actually battle you, so that's kinda cool. Let's see, is chat on- okay, I mean, I'll leave, I'll leave Cherry on front, why not? We got another battle here, what's going on, guy? I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Want to see? Sure. We have one Pokemon and it's a Lucario at level 14. That's actually kinda scary, so I'll tell you- oh, fucking goes for the Earth Power. Damage. Not very effective, but still. <laughs> That's a badass move. So Will-O-Wisp is gonna land on that thing. Very nice. Let's now... Hmm. I guess I could cross-chop it with Rick Roll or... Yeah, I'm gonna go with a seahorse here. As this thing goes for another earth power. That is fine by me. Now check it out, I'm gonna actually use Fire Punch. Alright. Kingdra Fire Punch and shit. That is gonna knock out the Lucario. See you later. Oh, and I got a little bit of a glitch action going on. That's actually first time that's really happened, so that's kinda that's kinda interesting. I think we're just supposed to go to the Pokemon menu and then back out. And oh shit, my screen went black. What the fuck? And I, I think I actually just need to save. That's annoying as hell. This this ROM I'm using is not supposed to do that. I'm supposed to just go to the Pokemon menu and then it and then it's, and it fixes itself. But hmm. Okay, so all I had to do was just save and then kind of you know restart the game. Pretty strange, but a lot of the time these ROMs will do that. So anyways, we have now arrived at Goldenrod City, so that's that's cool. The Radio Tower Goldenrod City is a landmark. They're running a promotional campaign right now. The Modify Your Poke Gear so conservative radio. Cool. Well, first of all, we're gonna go to the Poke Center, and then we got a pretty large, pretty large city to explore here. Goldenrod, one of my favorite cities in all of the Pokemon games. For one reason, because like my friend has a cabin up in the mountains where he lives off the street called Goldenrod, and it's kinda funny, I'm always just like do you even Pokemon, bro? Okay, so we got uh, we got some big ass buildings. We got a we got a game place right here, game corner. Cool, cool. What do we got over here? We got an old dude chilling. Who? This is one big town. I don't know where anything is. Well, yeah, me either. So over here we have the underground little pathway thingy. Got your bike in the tunnel. Okay, so that's the tunnel. Pretty cool stuff down there. There's a whole bunch of like hidden items, I believe, and you know, just a nice little tunnel. <laughs> I got in trouble for playing in the basement of the department store. Well, you shouldn't have done that, bro. What's up, lady? Is a man in the black dressed like a Team Rocket member? How silly. Okay, so over here we have like the uh, the, the magnet train line, so that's that's cool. What are you doing, Team Rocket, dude? So this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram. Hey, fuck you, bro. I'll do what I want, all right? And then over to the far left over here we have the, uh, this is the global terminal, amazing completely global ter terminal. Cool. Also some sweet fountains, you know, just overall a nice city. Got some, got a nice golden theme to go along with the old golden rod thing. Let's actually go in here real quick. What's popping in here? 
Welcome to the Goldenrod Radio Tower. Thank you. Lottery corner. I'm blessed to be attendant of the draw. Okay, well, let's actually do it. I only have, like... I don't have very very many Pokemon. Let's see if we can fucking win the lotto right now, though. 09958. Damn it. I didn't get a match. And look who we have here. Hi, my name is Whitney. I heard about the quiz to win a radio card, so I came here to get one. But the quiz is so hard. Psst. Quiz probably ain't even that hard. Okay, so we have to take this quiz, apparently. Answer five questions correctly in a row to win a radio card. When you load it into the Poke Gear, you will be able to listen to the radio. Would you like to try our quiz? Yes, sir. Or ma'am, sorry. You check the town map with your Poke Gear? Yes, you can. Hell yeah. Nidorina can, need arena can only be female? Yes, ma'am. Kurt, the Pokeball creator, uses apricots as ingredients. Yes, man. Wait, what? Oh, no, fuck. Oh, God, I'm, I'm stupid. Okay, hold on here. <laughs> I was like, do I just spam yes? Like, okay, so town map, yes. <laughs> I can't believe I got that wrong. Fucking trying to trick me. Not apricots. You... Tricky, man. It's possible to use a TM on Mag... Impossible to use a TM on Magikarp. Um. Yes. <laughs> okay. One more question. Professor X's popular show, Pokemon Talk. Is he on with Marie? Oh fuck! I don't remember. I think yeah. God damn it! Oh, oh my god! I don't fucking know this type of shit. Now I have to do it all over again. Jesus tits. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. No. <laughs> they make you do this shit a thousand times. Okay. Yes, and then no. Fuck. Marie. Who's he on the show with? I don't fucking know. Anyways, bingo, you got it. Congratulations. Here's your prize. So we got ourselves a radio card. Hell yeah. Add that to the old Poke Gear. We shall never use it, but now Whitney's like, hey, cool, I want one. Ah, oh, you did it. I thought the answer to the third question was surely apricots. <laughs> it's time to go back to the gym. Okay, so now Whitney's gonna go back to her gym, meaning we can now battle her, so cool stuff. Anyways, guys, we're gonna end the episode here. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this series, and I will greatly appreciate it. Peace out.